Supermarkets say they have to ration the number of eggs being sold to customers in the face of claims of nationwide shortage and the impact of bird flu. But egg farmers blame the supermarkets for paying them so little for their product that many producers have paused production or quit the industry altogether. Farmers say their rising costs, the price of feed and young chickens coupled with skyrocketing energy costs, are not being reflected in the prices offered by the supermarkets. And industry insiders say eggs, so to speak, are the tip of the iceberg and that other food shortages lie ahead for some of the same reasons. I'm joined now by the farmer and former Conservative MP, Neil Parrish. Hello, Neil. How are you? Hi, thank you. Nice to nice to see you, Neil. I, my wife and I very much enjoy your your um, your history on the Vikings and taking us around Scotland. So nice oh. to see you. Oh, a blast from the past. Lovely. Thank you. Now <laughs> to the matter in hand, though, who's to blame for all of this, Neil? Yes, you've seen that the supermarkets and retailers are trying to blame bird flu. Now, bird flu has claimed a few of the poultry, but most of the reduction, about from 43 million down to 38 million, is all to do with the fact that the farmers can't afford to keep them. Um, and, you know, we've had the problem with the Russians invading Ukraine. Uh, price of wheat has rocketed. Um, so the feed price has gone up by nearly a half. Um, and, of course, they reckon that they're producing, it's costing 45 pence a dozen more to produce the eggs. And retailers have offered them nine pence. So basically, farmers are just reducing uh, the number of hens they're keeping hence we've got less eggs and of course we have we produce 75 percent of our eggs now and more um are free range in this country very high quality good eggs and of course what the supermarkets are now doing some of them sainsbury's are getting them from italy and of course the quality is not so good and uh, nor is the animal welfare is good so you know i think that retailers really must recognize uh, the cost it is of production otherwise you know there isn't a shortage of eggs or they would wouldn't be if they paid the right price for them. Can, can no one, can no third party mediate in a situation like this? You know, it sounds yeah, I mean, like uh, the supermarkets uh, have, yes, all, they have all the clients. To a degree, because um, there is, you know, but a lot of them are locked into contracts. Um, and that, you know, and fair enough, contracts go up and down. But of course, what you can't do is keeping locking farmers into a contract which is below the cost of production, because in the end, the farmers can't actually produce them. And so they won't keep the hens. So it, it's a real issue where I think, you know, NFU, others, Poultry Board are all working hard to try and get that price up. But I think consumers can actually help by saying, you know, by listening, you like to hear tonight to GB News, also when they're going into the supermarkets, to actually say to those retailers, you know, I believe if you paid enough for those eggs, we'd have plenty of good quality eggs that we can produce in this country. And I think that's the issue now to make sure. And I think retailers will start to uh, listen now. But of course, they've, they've waited too long, really, um, before taking the industry seriously and, and starting to up the price because the price is going up in, in the shops, but it's not going up a great deal um, to the producer. And so they've got a lot more to do.